Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com, and in this video series I'll be showing you how to read and write playlist files in Swift with the help of an extremely useful library I've written, Swifty Playlist Manager. In this first episode I'll show you what a plist file is and how to add Swifty plist manager into your project. Loading and saving data is essential for any iOS app and managing plist files with Swifty plist manager is fun and easy. Stick around and learn how to read and write plist files in Swift. Fortunately, there are a lot of ways you can accomplish reading and writing. There is core data or user defaults. Recently, JSON is quite popular. If you wanted to go the natively supported plist way, then you would quickly realize that it can get cumbersome really fast. That is why I have created Swifty plist manager as a helper in my own projects. Now you can read and write data to your liking. And the best part is that it is totally free. I have open source plist, a Swifty plist manager, so you may take advantage of it and use it in your own projects. Currently, it is released with the tag number 1.0.2 and it already supports Swift 4. And I'm sure I'll be maintaining the library for you to use. You can find Swifty Plist Manager at github.com slash developer slash Swifty Plist Manager or just simply Google Swifty Plist Manager and click on the first one that pops up. Now, before we dive in, I want to talk briefly about some awesome features that Swifty Plist Manager has. First and foremost, and importantly, and I think you will really like this, you can read and write plist data with one call. Yes, with only one call. Then you have support for multiple plist files, completion handlers, and error handling. And of course, all of this in Swift 4. Now, what do you need to know beforehand about the humble plist file? This tutorial assumes that you know the basics of the structure of the plist file, but to just to be on the safe side, here's the jargon uh, you must know in order to proceed. Nothing fancy, I promise. Let me show you. Here I have created a data.plist file, and this is an empty plist file. Here we have the root and the type of our key, it is a dictionary. This is set up by default. So let's add a new key value element here. Let's just click on this little plus sign and let's uh, uh, give the name of the key, my new key, okay? And it will be of type string and the value should be, hello there. Okay, and as you can see, we have a key, my new key. You can reference this value by um, calling this key and the type of our key value is string. And as you can see, there are a lot more value types, arrays, dictionaries, booleans, data, date, number, and strings. And all of them are supported by Swifty plist manager. So, that covers the basics of how a uh, plist uh, works. And now let's just jump right into it and let's add Swifty plist manager into our project. But first we need to create a new project. So go ahead and open up Xcode and go to file new and we will create a new project and let it be a single view application and the product name should be okay and it should be a swift project let's uh, go ahead and click on the next and drop it onto our desktop and i will just create a new folder here let's create that and let's create our project okay now that we have created our project it's time to find Swifty Plist Manager on GitHub. So go ahead and open your favorite browser and uh, go to github.com slash developer slash Swifty Plist Manager or just type into Google and you will find it. Okay, now there are two major ways you can add Swifty Plist Manager into your projects. 
The first one is the easiest one, but not the recommended one. And the second one, we will get that in to that into in a moment. So the first one is manually. So go ahead and find this green button, clone or download, click on it, and you will have an option to download the zip file. So go ahead and click on that, and we will download it uh, from a GitHub. And now uh, open it, and as you can see, here we have a readme file, of course, and Swifty plist manager example and the Xcode project for that example. What you need to be aware of is this Swifty plist manager uh, uh, file and these data and other data plist files. If you want to add uh, your uh, Swifty plist manager manually, then you just go ahead and drag and drop this Swifty plist manager .swift file into your project. And that is all, all you have to know. So let's just go ahead and let's say import Swifty. Before we do that, let's just build and run. So uh, the Xcode project will see our Swifty plist manager. And now let's add import Swift Okay, that is the easiest part to add Swifty Plist Manager into your app. Now we will go through the safest part, the recommended uh, way to add Swifty Plist Manager into your app, and that is through CocoaPod. So let's just delete this file and let's move it to trash. Okay. And now we will add it through CocoaPods. So go ahead and open up Terminal. And let me just make this a little bigger with Command Plus. And we will, first of all, we need to install CocoaPods if you haven't already done so. So the call for that is sudo jam install CocoaPods and hit uh, return and you will be asked for your password. Okay. And once you give your password, it will download and install CocoaPods. This may take a while for you if you are installing it for the first time onto your computer. As you can see, uh, it went through for uh, just a few seconds for me. Now we need to navigate to our project. So type in CD and a space. And I will show you a little handy trick here. And of course, uh, you can uh, take a look at my uh, uh, tutorials on how to use Terminal. Uh, I have a playlist I will link here. And now let's just navigate in our finder to our project. Here it is. And let's just drag and drop this here into terminal and hit return. And now we are inside learn SPM. And now we need to create a pod file. So let's just type in pod in it and hit return. And as you can see, a new pod file has been created. Now you could open this uh, via a terminal and type in the necessary uh, pod, but I will do it through Xcode. So I will just right click on it and I will open it with other. Don't open it via text file because um, there are some problems with the quotation marks there. Just open it like so. And now we need to add our pod. Okay, let's go back to Google Chrome and just scroll down on our GitHub repo and take a look at what we need to add to install via CocoaPods. And this is it, pod Swifty plist manager. Let's just copy that out and type it in here. Let's just simply paste it. So pod Swifty plist manager. Of course, if you want to use uh, other tags, then you can easily do 
but I will just use the master. Okay, let's just save that. Let's close it. And now let's go back to terminal. And now we need to install it. So type in pod install. Okay, hit return. And it will be installing Swifty PList Manager. And that is all you need to do. Great. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Let's go back here, of course. You need to close the Xcode project and from now on you have to work inside the Xcode workspace. So let me just open that up. Here you can see our pods, our pod file, of course. And here is Swifty PList Manager with the required files. Okay, let me just open up uh, learn SPM and go to the view controller and we will start from here in the next video. So I will see you in the next uh, video where I will show you how to use uh, Swifty PList Manager inside our code. Uh, we will talk about the functions that you can use to save, read and write plist files. So I hope you like this lesson. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to do so, please subscribe. You can find the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one.